Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a free Dow analysis for you for the trading session dated Monday, 2nd of May, after New York's closed. This is my main wave count on a daily chart for the Dow, which is expecting that we've got still further upwards room for movement. We're going to see further upwards movement before a trend change. This wave count sees the Dow within a fifth wave at minor degree to end an impulse for, for an intermediate degree C wave to end a zigzag for a primary wave 2. This wave 5 blue must subdivide to a very clear 5 wave structure. We've had an end to 1 and 2 and 3, which may be over already. If it's not over already, then it will be over very soon. When that's done, we'll have a fourth wave correction, which may not move into wave 1 pink price territory. This wave count at the moment is invalidated with movement below 12,444. When the fourth wave correction is over, then we'll have a final fifth wave upwards towards one of these targets to finally end this whole structure for primary wave 2. The first target is where wave 5 blue will reach 0.618 the length of 3. About that point, which is coming up fairly soon, if the structure needs further upwards room to complete it, then we'll use the second target where 5 blue reaches equality with 3 blue. I have two wave counts for you today. One of them sees wave 4 pink has just begun. If that's the case, we may use this trend channel on the daily chart to tell us where the fourth wave may end. We draw a trend line from the high of 1 pink, which is on this daily bar here, not one of these, it's this one here, to the high of wave 3 pink if it was over here, and then we place a parallel copy on the low of 2. Wave 4 pink may come to end around about the lower edge of this trend channel, and then the upcoming fifth wave to end this whole thing may end either midway in the channel or towards the upper end. Taking you now to the first of my two hourly charts where the low for 2 pink down here is this point down here, and this is the possible so far upwards movement for wave 3 pink with a 1, 2, 3, 4 and working on the 5th wave up. This main hourly wave count is my main wave count simply because we should always assume that the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. At this stage we don't have indication of a short term trend change for a 4th wave at pink degree. We will have it if this main hourly wave count is invalidated with movement below 12,784.62. If price keeps going up tomorrow, and if it's in a clear five wave structure, the structure of the next piece of movement upwards is really important. If it's clearly impulsive, then this will be the wave count we should use. At 12,942.13 points, wave 5 green will reach 0.382, the length of wave 1 green. And at 12,982.41, wave 3 pink in its entirety will reach equality with wave 1 pink, so there's a small 40 odd point zone for the next little upwards piece of movement to end at. And that may be the end of the third wave and the start of the fourth wave at pink, de pink degree. Alternately, it's also possible that we have a satisfactory structure already for wave 3 pink. This is the same 1, 2 here for this wave count. I have 3 ending here, the brief little fourth wave, and a final fifth wave up. This third wave at green degree has no ratio to the first, but the fifth wave is just 1.17 points short of 0.618 the length of this third wave. So with a nice ratio between 3 and 5 there, it gives me a little bit more confidence in this wave count. Within wave 1 green, there is a nice ratio between 3 and 1 orange. Within wave 3 green, there are no ratios at orange to green. Within wave 5 green, there's a couple of nice ratios between all of these waves here. So there are some pretty good Fibonacci ratios which are detailed in the text article. I won't go through them on the video, it would make it too long. The second wave at pink degree off to the left of the chart was a simple zigzag, so we may expect this fourth wave at pink degree to more likely be a flat, a triangle, or a combination. For a flat or a triangle, we can have a B wave which reaches beyond the start of A, so there's no upwards invalidation point for this wave count, and that's why. It's more likely, if the fourth wave is going to be a flat or a triangle, it's more likely that wave A will subdivide to a three-wave structure, and this is a nice impulse on the 15-minute chart. There's a nice zigzag here, and again, a really nice impulse complete here. This may have been wave A within wave 4 green over here. We may see a three-wave 
structure to the upside for a B wave which is fairly likely to make a new high above this point before price turns down and either continues a triangle or turns down for a strong C wave of a flat correction. At this early stage we may expect this fourth wave at pink degree to simply correct to about the 0 0.382 Fibonacci ratio of wave 3 pink. Movement below 12,784.62 may be considered confirmation of this wave count, but that may not come until we've made a new high. So the structure of the upwards movement that should come next is going to give us a good clue as to which of these two wave counts is more likely. Either way, we've got a fourth wave correction either about either already just started or about to start within a couple of days. That fourth wave correction should last about a week and take price a reasonable amount lower, but it may not move into wave 1 pink price territory. Price should stay above 12,444. That's all for me with your Dow analysis, and I hope that everyone else had a fabulous weekend.